Hello zoologists of all shapes and sizes, my name is Chance, welcome to my spellbook and thank you so much for tuning into the 40th episode of our beast series. Today we have a rather interesting beast in store for us today, we're looking at the giant weasel. This beast is found under the basic rules guide and it is considered to be CR 1 8 and provides 25 experience points in a kill. I really like this guy. The giant weasel is traditionally found in forests, grassland, and hill environments. And I would kind of like to run a campaign where they can do quite a bit of damage to a farmer's field, something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. But with that out of the way, let's take a quick look at their stats here. So the giant weasel is considered to be a medium beast that is unaligned, which means they're actually about the same size as most of you. Naturally, they'll be on more of a horizontal kind of length, but still, they're quite large. They have an AC of 13, 9 hit points, calculated by rolling 2d8, and a speed of 40 feet, which is rather nice. They can make pretty good amounts for any kind of small creature, like a halfling, for example. Taking a quick look at their stats there, you notice that they are very dexterous, boasting a plus 3 to dexterity, which is pretty awesome. They are not particularly bright, nor are they particularly charismatic, but outside of that, they are pretty well rounded. Taking a look at their skills, you'll see a plus 3 to perception and a plus 5 to stealth. Very good stuff. Taking a look at their senses, you'll see 60 feet of dark vision and a passive perception of 13. They also have access to keen hearing and smell, which provides them with advantage on perception checks that rely on hearing or smell, which is a decent chunk of them, for sure. Now let's take a quick look at its actions here. So the giant weasel only has access to one action, and that is a bite attack. It is considered to be a melee weapon attack, plus 5 to hit, which is very nice, a reach of 5 feet, can only target one target, and deals 5 piercing damage, calculated by rolling 1d4 and adding a modifier of plus 3. Very nice stuff, I really like the giant weasel. I would like to see them with like a climb speed or maybe even a burrow speed, but whatever, it is the way it is. I once again feel like this would be best used as an adventurer's kind of quest, an early level quest to kind of rid the farm of an infestation. I think that would be pretty cool and have a group of giant weasels kind of signify the end encounter would be pretty sweet. Their, their high speed and their great stealth would make it kind of challenging for the adventurers, but at the same time quite enjoyable just because they're not particularly hard to hit, nor do they have a lot of health. That being said, if you have any ideas on how to use them in your campaign, please let me know down beneath in the comment section. Also be sure to mention any thoughts, questions, comments, or concerns you may have about the giant weasel. That being said, I hope you have a great day, and as always, happy researching.